Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the uh, Mine Tan Absolutely Dark Tan. That's what it looks like just star. Sorry that the sun is really, really bright. I'm using natural lighting today. I'm trying to show you what it looks like. There. That's what the bottle looks like. It's quite nice. That black and gold design to it is lovely. So it says absolutely insanely dark tanning with quad bronzing tan activating intensifiers big long name but basically enough dark tan darkest tan to do now my tan have a range of different fake tans like with mousses of um i think they've got lotions too mainly mousses they have ones that are like like the medium gradual then they have ones that are like this dark and they have all different undertones they have a violet undertone one they have a caramel one an olive one they have like a blue black ash one of all different ones there's like loads and loads of fake tans in their range even the pink one if you believe it or not but yeah this tan's around 18 pounds and i bought it on um was just by look or is it i can't even remember i've had this tan months ago but i've just ran out of it it's like empty so i've been waiting to do this review for ages that's why i've been sitting in my bedroom like empty and it's just annoyed me and today I decided to do the review. So it's around eighteen pound, and you can get it from the Mind Town website. You can get it from Just My Look, I believe, and you can get it from maybe Look, Look Fantastic. I'm not entirely sure. There's all different websites where you can get this from, and Superdrug too. Superdrug do this tan, and and also the B tan too. So um, it's a one hour express self tan foam, so you can't leave it on for one hour for like a light tan. Two hours for a medium three hours for a dark or leave on overnight for like a really dark intense look i never wash my tan off and after put it on i always leave it on for like eight hours plus for instance i use my anovia b &M's dark tanning mousse the clear one i put it on around lunchtime and what i do is i leave it on until the next morning i had a shower the day and on my tan and then i leave it on until the next day whether that's clear or um the one like this one this one has a guy color i'll leave it on all day and then rinse it off the next day or sometimes if i'm lazy i'll do it like at night time and then rinse my tan off the next morning so it all just depends but i never leave tans on for an hour I like i'll just leave it on for the whole time to get the maximum impact about it so because i'm naturally pale i have to have for tans of my dark on me i have to leave them on quite long like the maximum amount of time like the 8 hour time frame I couldn't just leave one for an hour to not get much colour and I don't like that <laughs> so yeah um it does have the instructions on the back as I said before this packaging is beautiful it's quite like elegant sleek like proper just nice like luxury fancy looking it's beautiful and it does have a wee black pump applicator too and it also attempted black lid which is quite nice and professional because i find the white tannin mousse bottles they tend to look dirtier quicker because you could see everything with a white and clear um lid because you can see where the tans like spilt over that just looks dirty whereas a black one is hard to notice that you can't even notice it at all so it's more professional and cleaner looking i prefer a black um bottle for the tan just it's nicer nothing wrong with white bottle but i like a black bottle <laughs> So the colour of this tan is definitely an olive tone, it's more that green based. It does have a slightly bit of a neutral base too, but it's definitely more on the green side. You'll see it in the wee clip from the planet. Um, and the guide colour goes on like a light guide colour, isn't like a proper dark tan. It, it is when it develops, but it isn't like when you put it on. It's like a nice kind of light tan colour so you can wear it out and it doesn't look ridiculous which is quite good it's quite a nice easy wearable tan it does dry down quite quickly i find it dries quite fast and can throw my clothes on uh, 10 minutes after i've applied it so it's quite good for that uh, it does stay fairly dry throughout the day so it doesn't come off or anything it just kind of develops nice and evenly so it's quite good for like if you are a uh, morning tanner and wash it off at night it'll be good for you because you can just wear it throughout the day and not worry about it obviously if you've got water on it it would come off but yeah it's good it's good a word huh <laughs> if i could speak i'm being awkward here like that's crucial i'm just like southern 
a hey ho. So, I would say when I rinse it off, it does leave me a nice dark colour. It isn't like a proper off dark tan, but it is dark on me. It's because I'm quite pale, I would have to use two layers to get it to be off dark. Most tans are like that for me, but there's some tans, one layer just doesn't, it's brilliant. But this tan is more like a two layer for off dark for me. Um, so yeah. I would say it's quite like, nice in your skin. This tan doesn't dry my skin out as much as other tans and it does dry fast which is quite good so it's a win-win. I'm getting like a fast dry and tan but I'm also getting one that doesn't dry my skin out which is quite hydrating probably so it's quite good. So wear time I would say it's quite well, it does wear off quite smoothly. It doesn't go all patchy or anything, it doesn't go to hagger brady, it goes off like a nice like a smooth even fade of a tan which is quite good. It looks like your tan is naturally fading off which is better than Kaggle Brady because I hate that look and it just yeah it's quite a nice even wear I would say I get a good I would say three days wear out of this before it fades off it's one like the middle of the range lasting but where it does fade off it looks nice it's fading too so I apply my tan at least once a week usually twice a week because I am quite fur and I do have a fast skin cell turnover so I have to exfoliate and apply my tan twan. <laughs> my tan twice a week to get it to be nice and dark and to look nice when it's fading off. Or if I am doing it once a week I will just do a double coat of a ultra dark tan and that will do me up until the week. And I'll also like top up my tan with some gradual and that's how I keep it looking dark. So yeah, the smell of this tan, oh <laughs> did I get it on my lips a little bit. It has a slight sweet smell to it. It isn't like a really strong repairing smell. It's quite like subtle. I'll open this up to see if I can smell it. Yeah, it definitely is more chocolatey. If you open up the lid, you can smell it's quite chocolatey, which is really, really nice. It's quite like, like a chocolate drink. It reminds me of a Bailey's chocolate drink. <laughs> it's just so nice. This is beautiful. It does have a bit of a floral to it as well, but it's nice. Um. So it is quite a subtle smell, so it's good for people who don't really like a big strong smell and tan. It'll not irritate you or offend you, so it's quite good for that. So yeah, I will just show you my demo before, during and after now. Away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. So would I say this tan's for you? I would say if you're looking for a really natural looking tan, it's for you, you will love it. And especially if you are looking for like a darker tan, you will love it because it is a darker tan. It's good for people who have pale skin like myself naturally because it does give you a nice natural looking tan on top of your own natural skin tone. Um, and it's for you if you like an olive based tan because this one is an olive based tan. Um, it's for you if you like a tan that does dry down quite quick, definitely, because this one does dry down quite quick. And it has a wearable guide colour, so it's for you if you like that. Um, it's for you if you have drier skin, because it will not dry your skin out as much as other tans. Yes, I would recommend moisturising before your areas, your drier areas, before putting tan on, and then when you rinse it off your whole body afterwards. Because that will keep it looking nice and just looking like a nice tan. 
um, it's for you if you like a tan that is a mid-range tan, you prefer spend that little bit more money on a tan that's good quality, yeah you can still get good, good quality tans from like the lower end, but you like a mid-range tan, you'll like this. Um, a tan is easy accessible, it's for you definitely. It isn't as easy accessible as like a Saint-Tropez one or Bondi Sands, but it is accessible enough because you, you can get it from different stores or websites. Um, yeah. It's not going to be for you if you like proper red base tan, like a proper golden tan, because it will not give you that. Yeah, it does have a hint of a neutral tan to it, but it's not going to be a golden tan. It's not going to be for you if you like one's proper going to give you and one coat of dark tan, it will not give you that, unless you have a tan you your skin to begin with, then yeah. Um, it's not going to be for you if you like a really, really just a subtle tan, because it's not going to be subtle unless you mix it with moisturiser or something like that, or just, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's not going to be for you if you are on a really, really tight budget, like you can't afford to spend um, £18 on a tan. Unless you like save up for, for like a special occasion for your birthday or whatever, then I would say give it a go. But if you're just looking for an everyday tan to wear, it's not going to be for you if you have to. I would say if you're looking for an everyday tan, it'll not be for you. You're better off going for something like Sunkist or... Saint Marais or um, the Lidl tan, one of them would be good for you, or the Primark tan too is quite good. Um, it's not going to be for you if you like a tan that's really kind of whipped, like a whipped tan, it's quite moisturising. This one does like give you a bit of hydration to your skin, but if you're looking for one that's really, really hydrating, like proper like moisturising, like a proper wet tan, if that makes sense, it's not going to be for you because it's quite like, it just dries quite quickly. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.